Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Something Cafe. As you can see, for those of you on the video, the set is changing. It's evolving. Um, it is much like um, as if the corn plant never evolved from the twig at once, which once, once, when it used to be. Um, I got these, I got some new things for the set. I'm excited. Um, if you can see in the corner, the couch is out my balcony. It's been put on timeout, um, because it is, it, it was made in hell. It was made in hell. Um, I am pretty excited. Although you do not know what I've been going through for the last three hours getting this all ready um because i've got like four photography lights and i don't know how to light and maybe this lighting's fine right now but just psyching myself out every every single second for the last three hours i just i just i'm over it so i hope this looks good and it's gonna look good. Uh, when I get some, when I get some more practice with the lights. But how do you like these chairs? Hmm? Look at that little, little Doctor Phil action right there. You know what if I, what if I wanted to stroke my chin? Hmm? What if I wanted to stroke my chin? What if I wanted to stroke my chin over here? It's going to be great for guests, too. Now I can actually look at the guest. The camera will be faced more in the center, and I can talk to the guest instead of looking like we're about to, you know, shoot a porn, you know? Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Something Cafe. Welcome back to episode, I believe this is 32, 32 weeks. and. I, uh, I, I am, I am now, oh man, where do I want to start? Well, actually, what's the date today? The 24th in five days, I will be 22 years old. Um, and everyone that I've talked to about my age, even last night, I had a gig last night. Um, I stayed late afterwards, just, just, just talking with some of my, with some of my friends, and, um, they thought I would, like, one thought I was 26, the other one thought I was, like, one of them thought I was, like, 30, like, 30 flat, right, and I'm thinking, like, is that a good thing, you know, like, I don't want to look, you know, I, I don't want to look, I mean, I would rather look older than I am than younger than I am. I don't want to look like a little like a little kid, but um you know, I'm not really I'm not I'm not exactly uh, a bastion of health, so they say the correct answer when people when 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 I'm talking about this kind of stuff with people and I say what what well, why what what about me makes me look 26? And they say, "Oh, it's the it's the maturity. And I, be, you know, I, be, I, I, be, I believe them only because that's what I've been told my whole life. It's not that I agree with it or not. I don't even like, I don't, I don't even like talking about what people say makes me a good person. Uh, you know, what doesn't make me a good person is figuring out how to set up lights. I'm not, I'm not kidding. It, it, like the last three hours have been a very upsetting three hours of my, of, of my life. Like, it's currently, it's currently 7 o'clock p.m. on a Saturday. I usually like to record these at 10, a, at 10 a.m. I, wo I woke up at, like, 12. You know, I, I, I was out. I, I didn't go to bed until, like, 3.30 last, 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 last night. 
but from 12 to now i've just i i had a lot of re a lot of rearranging to do but oh shit man but hey welcome back to the something cafe where 15 percent of the episode is the host trying to convince himself not to uh be depressed you know so speaking of which dude I got prescribed a new medication, so my doctor is playing roulette with some of these pills that she's throwing at me. I've got a pill for this, I got a pill for that, I got a pill for for all that. And um I am slowly weaning off of my antidepressant that I've been taking for the last three years. I mean, basically the only the only antidepressant I've ever taken. My first one and my current one. Um, I was do actually do you. You guys just heard this on uh, on the last episode, but I'll I'll go I'll, I'll go I'll go into a bit more detail. Hey, the last ep the last ep episode with Steen. I I mean I had I had a blast with that. I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoyed be being able to like listen to his music with y'all and things like that. So uh I got my doctor weaning me off of the sertraline and now I'm at like 50 milligrams a day and the reason is because she wants me to they did this gene swap thing. Again, I t I talked about it last uh, last episode. But you know, I'm 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 uh I'm just waiting for the I'm I'm waiting for the results of that. They're gonna give me something new, something else to try. Uh, I'm kind of, I mean, is excited the correct vocab? Like, I'm not excited. I'm like, yay, pill. I guess I'm just more. I'm. I guess I could say I'm looking. I'm looking forward to uh, to a newer medication. Um. But the big one that that's happened is I've been I've been prescribed I've been prescribed Xanax, and uh, so far it's been going fine. But I thought I'd like to tell, uh, you know, tell my story so far about it. You know, I don't know how many people are aware of the stigma around Xanax. My mother didn't know when I brought it up to her when when the, the when the doc had first prescribed it to me before I went and you know picked it up at at Wal at Wal at Walgreens I was telling mom oh you know I was telling her oh I'm 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 nervous cuz there's this that and you know you know like so it's the it's like so many parts of like rap songs from Juice World and Lil Yachty and Lil Xan his name is literally Lil Xan Lil Peep and stuff like that, and obviously, I mean the the their experience with it is abusing it, right? Like that's completely different than my experience with it uh, now and forever. But again, right? I I don't all like since I've worked in the music scene, all I've ever heard about Xanax is it's just. It's it's up there with Coke. It's up there, you know, with with lean. It's up there with perks. It's a recreational drug that all these rappers take in 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 this in the studio. So I'm like, when the doc prescribed it to me, I'm like, son of a bitch. Like, really? Am I that bad? You know, am I shoot, man? Am I that am I that messed up? So I got it prescribed. And I waited for, it was actually, uh, it was actually the day after the Steen episode. It was that Sunday. And Sunday was going to be my trial day. Uh, my day to, you know, I didn't have anything to do that day. I was going to take it and just, I wanted just to monitor myself, right? I felt perfectly fine. I mean, I felt normal. Nothing crazy happened. I didn't I didn't turn into the Hulk or anything. But let me tell you this. And this is what see I Why does it make me so upset that 
I can't get these lights to work because now when I put my hand in front of my face, all you see is my shadow of my of my hand. And it's pissing me off. What if I just turned off this light? Well, now it's now now it's just dark. Back to what I was saying. Nothing happened when I took the Xanax. Um, I got prescribed the smallest dose, 0.25 milligrams. And the prescription bottle says, you know, take it twice a day per anxiety. So what have I been doing about my anxiety previously? I have Kratom. I get anxious, Kratom. I get sad, Kratom. You know, uh, Kratom's expensive. I do, have, I do have some deals with some of the bars. So, you know, I, I keep... I, I keep a very, I keep a very updated record of every, every kind of spending that I make happen, which I just realized I have some Reese's Pieces in my backpack right now. Why don't you look at that? Um, just excited to get fatter, you know. Um, but I, I have the kratom, and. On Sunday, when I took the first pill, for the first time in a while, I felt fine, and I didn't feel like I needed to have some kratom. I felt I felt fine. Uh, later in the day, six hours later, you know, maybe around two, two, three, I took the second pill. I felt fine. I had one can of kratom that night. One, I did a bunch of research on mixing it. It's not advised, and I'm not right. I'm not. I'm not mixing it a lot. Like I'm. If anything, I'm. It's. It's. The the Xanax is already coming off while the kratom's coming on. Great name for a song, by the way. Um, so. I take the second one and you know it's been it's been a long time since I've gone a day and only drank one can of kratom. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Um am I trying to quit kratom? No, that's not the goal, but the goal is to let let let, let me put it like this, right? I've got a fire inside of me and this fire is horrible, and I hate it. it makes me sad, it makes me unmotivated. And uh, what I would use to put it out with was kratom. It was one of the only things that could put could that could put it out. But now I have the Xanax, and at this low dose, it puts out that fire, and I feel and I feel perfectly fine. Like. It's the first, it, like, so I, I took it, um, like, Monday, work, you know, work, work, uh, work day. Monday, I took it before I left, you know, got to the hospital. And for the first time in a long time, I was able to walk up and down, like, the hallways and the different operating rooms and whatnot. It was the first time in a long time that I could do that and not sweat because I was nervous that people were looking at me. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I actually felt like I could... I I have a hard time keeping eye contact when I talk. There's some... I, I've, I've got... I've got... Somewhere in me, there's some autism. The doctors couldn't find it. Dad, mom couldn't find it. I, I sure as hell couldn't find it. Uh, somewhere, God planted a little bit of the tism in me. God planted a little bit of the tism in me, and, and, and none of us know where it is, but we are actively looking for it. And I can't keep eye contact when I talk to people because it's way too intimate. I don't like that. I don't like that intimacy. I hate it. It's also why I don't like to say goodbye. I usually do Irish goodbyes when it comes to work and 
parties and stuff. I don't, I don't particularly like, I mean, maybe that's autism. Maybe that's just me being a dick. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, you know, what do you want from me? It's just, it's the attention. I don't, I don't like the attention. I don't like the attention of like, all right, bye, bye. bye, bye, bye. I, I just, I just want to get out of there. I want to get out. Um, so I've been feeling better about it now. I've been able to keep eye contact with people while I talk to them. Uh, I've been able, I mean, I'm, I'm still doing Irish goodbyes. I mean, I, I, again, I don't like, it's the, it's the intimacy part. I don't like that. I don't like intimacy part. The only way I enjoy intimacy is with, uh, uh, with, with a 200 pound plus Hispanic girl with long black hair and brown eyes. I mean, what do you, you know, that's not my fault. That's God's fault right there, brother. God made me that way. Shoot, man. So, yeah. The medication's been going good. It's kind of what this episode is, eh? A little a little checkup. Got the new got the new set. Taking things easy today. Might not be that long of a long of an episode just for my sake because the amount of time it took me to get this set up, I'm just I'm not feeling I'm not feeling great. I'm not feeling great. And you know what's funny? Mom, I know you're listening. I was looking through some of the older comments that I I just forgot to, you know, like look at or comment on or react to. <laughs> and one of the comments my mom left on this podcast, it w- it had to have been like months ago. It said my mom commented on her son's podcast um, less self therapy and more comedy. Thanks for that, mom. You know, thanks for that. Um, well, one of the cats just shit. I can smell it from here. Um, go listen to any episode of Theo Vaughn, right? Joe Rogan. I'm not trying to make this like a self therapy podcast, but dude, it's a podcast by myself and I'm going to talk about shit that has to do with myself. And right now it is my journey with Xanax so far. Now the stigma is gone for, for, for me, you know? Um, and yet, no, look guys, it's, it's really, it's really been helping me out. I'm going to try to, ask her for me to get a higher dose because what I've been doing again, let me rephrase this. I haven't been abusing it. Uh, but what I've realized is since the prescription bottle says take twice a day. Um, and if both of them are 0.25, then taking two, I'm going to have 0.50. Well, the day I went to work and I noticed the changes was when in the morning I took two. So I said, all right, I'm going to take two now. I'm not, I'm not going to take any more for the rest of the day. Like that's, that's what the, that's what the, the, uh, that's what the, pres- the prescription says. And, uh, so, so I did that and it worked great. So now it's like, well, I'm, if I keep doing this, I'm I'm going to run out fast. Um, and, uh, you know, it, 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 is it another medication to rely on? Yeah, but I guess I need it. When a stupid little pill can, uh, can make me feel confident enough to keep eye contact with someone while I talk to them at work, maybe that pill's important. If the pill, uh... If the pill can make me forget about how much I don't like my body, maybe the pills are important, you know? So, hey, 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 mom, suck it up a little bit. Of, and, and this isn't self-therapy, mom. Come on. You, <laughs> and anybody else who's, all of you guys who are listening, or you're just getting a conversation with my mom and I. Mom, this isn't self therapy. This is just this is just life. This is just life, man. This is just what we what what we 
go through. Um, but guys, I said something about it. I had a gig last night. The gig was awesome. We, uh, so I've, I've been DJing a, a lot now and, um, basically I have this deal with this one Kava bar, you know, they, I DJ for them. And since they're a pretty official Kava bar, I can't, uh, they can't pay me in cash, which honestly, I'm probably gonna, I'm, I'm going there after this. I always go after recording the podcast so I can get the files ready for, for Evan and things like that. But, um, uh, I, I get paid in bar tab. I really, I really want to see if I can start doing cash, but I, I, I would like to, I, I, I get paid in bar tab now, which is fine. I'm already going there. I mean, it, it is money back in my pocket, you know, right. Financially. Um, and we completely, just like I did today, we completely rearrange everything like where everything was how we do it and man it was awesome like i used to be in a corner and now i've got this whole space djing it was somebody's birthday she was hot had a boyfriend but she was hot and uh excuse me and uh we were it, it we just had a blast i made like 15 bucks in tips like it was a actually a really good time um i really enjoyed it but Unfortunately, we're uh, the 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 boss said we're gonna do every other Friday, which when he said that, I was like, man, I, I was really. <laughs> it was like the first good good night that we had, and and now we're gonna do it every other Friday, which is fine because he said all, on those other Fridays we're doing game night, and I can bring back the Pokemon cards. Oh, brother, dude, I'm so excited. I haven't played the Pokemon card game since the art since the the artistic intern uh left uh at my job and i've been itching and i've been getting a lot of cards recently and i've been I, i've been i've been scratching i've been i've been scratching so um i am really really excited about that to bust to, to bust that old boy out um and play pokemon with some people um so yeah i mean it's, it's, hey things are going pretty pretty well the only thing i need to do now is lose weight i refuse to exercise but uh i'll figure something out uh but the gig last night you know it went really really well until later that night i am djing and when i'm djing when anybody's djing but when I'm DJing, you can come up and talk to me. You, you, you can come up. I have no issue people requesting songs. I have no issue. And it's, I mean, and it's also an open mic. People are coming up and, met and, and asking me questions. Hey, can I sing this? Where do I sign up? Blah, blah. Yeah. Like I'm, it's not like I've got some red velvet rope, you know, across the booth, you know, uh, you know, like I'm in some, like some private section. So people coming up to me, ask me questions, whatnot. The one thing is though, don't touch my shit. That's a big one. That's, that's a big one for everybody. I mean, it's, 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 it, you, you, no one should be surprised that I just said that. Don't touch my stuff. Just don't. That is like, like that'll that'll get you hit that that will get you hit because uh a lot of this stuff is expensive a lot of this stuff was gifts stuff that i paid for don't touch my things man don't there was this one guy that used to come i'm so i'm, I'm it's it, it's it's it, it's it's shitty for me to say but i'm so glad he he, he doesn't come anymore because he was, he was this big old dude who oh my gosh Believe it or not, he would talk more than me. Oh my gosh. And again, I'm not a super social dude sometimes. So when I'm setting my stuff up, I have both my earbuds in listening to a podcast. I, like, it takes like a good 30 minutes to set 
the whole the whole gig up and he's just talking to me about shit i don't even know about and i'm mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he won't stop and i'm thinking to myself like is this this is what it's like to work with me <sighs> shit man i feel bad for my coworkers man he would not stop talking oh my gosh it was the worst um and uh and he would come up to perform no object permanence like no self awareness he would come up and thankfully i got rid of it but i used to have this little usb adapter hub i had to use it cuz i had to plug in my lights and my external ssd into my computer and this little hub was really fidgety like if 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 it's plugged in and you just touch it the wrong way it'll like disconnect from the computer and for those of you who don't know the external ssd that is plugged into that hub into my computer that ssd is what has all my music on it that i'm djing with so if that thing if 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 you bump that thing the slightest it disconnects and ev ev the whole thing shuts down. And he's wanting to do, he he's he's wanting to to sing something, which I'm like, okay, sure, fine. And uh, and he gets really really close to my booth, and I'm like, because he's I when when I I I I pull up the YouTube videos for these things. It's kind of like kar karaoke. It's an open mic, but you can do karaoke there. Um karaoke is a is a weird thing. I I think I don't I I I don't think there is a difference. I just think like karaoke I think you can do that at an open mic. But there's a difference. An open mic at like a really official place, obviously there's no carry like no karaoke like you are you're either performing your, your your own stuff or it's a your own cover or something right um there is no oh, where's the screen so i can read off the lyrics that's what we're doing here though right because i mean it's a it's a cafe for goodness sake i mean we, it, this this isn't this this isn't madison square garden okay so i pull up the lyrics on the laptop and this and Try not to curse. And this dickweed grabs my laptop and like twists it, you know, like like to to position it. And dude, I slap his hand. The dude's like fifty years old. I slap his hand. I say, "Hey!" I was like, "No, no, 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 no!" I'm like, "Do not touch my shit. Don't. No. Oh my gosh." It's, and the anger comes from, it's, it's, it's even less from what he did, like, physically. The, the, the anger comes more from, like, how little self-awareness do you have that that was just, that, you doing that was told to your hands by your brain so fast and you didn't even question it like oh i wonder if he'd be okay if i moved his laptop he just did it sd unplugged mm. you, you want to know what else happens with the sd it, so if you if you don't know a, an external ssd is like a giant flash drive it's I, i've got like a tera like a terabyte flash drive basically every flash drive usb stick flash drive external ssd external hard drive when you want to remove it out of your computer you have to make sure you e you e you eject it first meaning there's an option when you click on the actual program it says eject disk you do that because that basically shuts it off and then you can unplug it's like it's like uh it's 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 like if a really simple example is just like I just unplug this mic. Unplug. 
and uh, and that's not great because I to unplug this mic. I preferably I would like to bring all of my levels down, bring it to zero, get my case ready, and then I would carefully remove it from the boom arm and unplug it and then set things i mean i'm i'm trying to use a metaphor to say it, it, that that it 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 damages the ssd do you know how much stuff i have on that thing dude i have every single song that i have every dj crate that i dj with on there i have a bunch of like like old videos from like when i was like in high school of like college auditions and things i have a bunch of oh all of okay all of my plugins literally all of my plugins for music production and all of my samples i mean if that thing gets damaged like internally or wiped i, I mean i'll go to jail i will i will go to jail i'm going to justin timberlake that shit i i seriously like so that's why you don't do that. And he did it. Okay? So he comes the next week. I see him. I'm like, oh, he's also the he's also oh my gosh, dude, even just talking about him. He's 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 also the person that when he sings, he 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 puts he he puts his 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 finger on his on his ear. <sighs> just shut up. There's a practical use for that. Do you do you know? Hmm? Look at this little version of Dora. Do you know why people put their hand on their ear? So it's the the practical use is when you sing or even you can do it right now. Um excuse me. When you put your hand on your ear, like when you take the little, that little nub and you like, you press it into your ear hole and like you basically shut your ear or you stick your finger in your ear or you, what, what, whatever you want to call it. Um, everything you say or slash sing while you're covering one ear, you can hear it inside of your own head. So that's why singers do it to make sure that they stay on, on key. This dude is the guy who, I mean, this guy invested in pencils. Like, he does not need to be, and he's, he always sings three songs. They are the loudest songs he, he does. The first one he always does is the Sound of Silence by, Dis, by Disturbed, which I seriously, if I ever see him again, I'm telling him he... He can't do that one. It's an open mic. We're trying to vibe. We're trying to chill. And he comes in. And it's just like, dude, like, read the room, man. I mean, sing and rap whatever you want, guys. It's an open mic, but read the room. Pick something else. Pick a, you know, pick a freaking, pick like a softer song. Uh, from Disturbed. Pick a softer song from Corn. Pick a softer song from friggin' Slipknot. Something. Like, every single time. And people literally leave. I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh. So the second time this guy comes to perform and to hang out, he knows not to touch my stuff now because of what I did last time. I, 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 I you know, I like slapped his hand. I was like, hey, no. It's like trying to get like chocolate out of your dog's mouth. So he comes the second time and he knows what not to do and what to do. And he still messes up. He comes over. Again, it's a small corner. Just last night did we rearrange things and made it awesome. But before I, I was like shoved in a corner, which is fine. The venue isn't big. Like I was the one that said I like I was the one that made the made the decision to put myself in the corner because I mean f physically there was no others there was no other options. If I don't have the space for you to stand next to me don't hmm? don't 
don't because the DJ booth is a sacred place. Do not come stand by me. Do not even come near me because I have cords and cables running. I have cords and cables running around more than Usain around this booth, okay? I know where they are, so I can move freely because I know where they are. And if I step on one and something happens, that was my fault. I broke my own stuff. I mean, I would be upset, but it's like, okay, you know, life is life. Dude comes over because he's trying to read the lyrics off of the laptop, which I don't like doing. It's fine now, again, now that we have this new setup, but it's like, it's like if you're, if, if you're going to come perform something, what would have you done if you couldn't read the lyrics off of my laptop? Well, I, I know what they would do is because people typically ask me, hey, can I hook my, f- is there like a Bluetooth I can hook my phone up to? Like, no. I, I mean, I used to host another open mic at another Kava bar, and that's what we would do. We, we would have them connect their phone to the Bluetooth, but like when I started doing this gig, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm in control. Like, this is my ship. Like, you don't understand how much smoother it's going to go if I'm the one in control. Text me the YouTube link. I I mean, I'll even tell them, like, I'll motion with my hand, you know, before they want to perform. I'll I'll be, hey, you know, come here. uh, And I'll open up YouTube. I'll, I'll, I'll say, hey, go crazy. You know, find whatever karaoke version of whatever song you want, right? Um, but yeah, you know, the guy comes and like the second time he, he came, he did, he did a good job without, he, he, he did a good job by not touching anything of mine. But then by doing that, he bumped into something else and my headphones dropped on the floor. And like, I didn't really, I didn't really think before I spoke, but I was just like, he, he, I mean, and these headphones, it's not these ones, it's, it's my spare ones, but they hit the hard floor that I had them on a, on a high shelf. It hits the floor. And, I just, and I'm like, oh man, what I say? I, 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 I didn't, I didn't cuss them out, but it was just, you know, I was just like, it's like, man, shit, dude, come on. You know, I, I just, just guttural, like just, it was just my instinct. Like, don't, like people who don't have any self awareness are genuinely like it's 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 something that's so foreign to me. I'm not saying I have perfect self awareness, but I'm saying I have damn good self awareness. And I know it when someone has bad self awareness. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. I do. I can't stand it. Um, I've got a lot of Pokemon cards. I've gone grocery shopping a couple times recently. I went grocery shopping the other day. I spent $350. 30 of those dollars were Pokemon cards. Shoot me. Shoot me. You may have shot the sheriff. Don't shoot the nerd. Pokemon card deputy, okay? Uh, I think I forget that sometimes. I am a literal grown man. I saw this meme. It's like, it's like, uh, you know, memes are something I grew up with. So whenever a meme is like a first person perspective, it's someone my age making it knowing that everyone my age is seeing it. And the meme was like, dude, you all know that we're old enough now we can just go and just buy an ice cream cake and take it home i'm like you're damn right this is america after all what do we fight for if not that kind of freedom so every time i go grocery shopping i grab a little bit of pokemon cards i don't i don't spend more than like 30 when i when i when i do go that's like one 
like really solid box tin container thing or a couple small things. I got these uh uh but but yeah, so I've got I've got all these Pokemon cards um and I'm sorting through them now. And uh it's a really fun activity to do with Kratom. You just have some Kratom, feel good, listen to my podcast and just when I say sort so so I've I've opened up so many I I don't want to make it sound like I've spent a bunch of money on this. Not because I know my parents are listening, but because I I genuinely I I I I genuinely haven't. It's just a lot of cards comes in uh a lot of cards come in these things. So I've got I've got like I've got like a lot of cards that I that that are not graded yet. And what do I mean by graded? Like I would say priced, not 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 graded. But but priced. Uh, every single card I get, if it's if it's if if it costs zero dollars or if it costs a hundred dollars, like as I get them, I will make this. I will I I add it to this to this existing stack or pile of cards I have right now that are unpriced. And every once in a while, I'll sit down and just and I'll just keep I'll just keep working at that pile. I have this app where I can find that exact card, add it to my collection on the app. It'll show the price, so I can get a feel on how expensive how 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 much my collection costs. Um, so I've been slowly working through that. Um, the other the actually the other day I pulled I I pulled a, a card that was like fourteen dollars from a newer set. Now you've 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 got to understand that's pretty that's pretty crazy because a fourteen dollar card from a new set like new cards are like two cents, one dollar maybe. I pulled a fourteen dollar new card. I checked to see how much it is if I if I if I were to actually get it graded, like a hundred like a hundred and seventy dollars. I'm definitely gonna soon. I want to get through all of these unpriced cards, but um, I want. I'm probably gonna soon go through my cards. If there are any, I don't want to sell all of them, and I don't just want to sell the expensive ones. I am going to be keeping mo like almost all of them, but I will go through if I find any duplicates. Cool. If I find um any um. Or just any really rare card that maybe I just don't care for. Like the card that I pulled was uh it was a nine tails card. Nine tails isn't my favorite Pokemon. It's not even close. I, I, I don't care for that one. Um so I might, you know, get that one graded and then sell it. But grading, dude, I mean I don't trust it, man. Like uh, uh, okay, that's not the right vocabulary. I trust it, like it's so trusted it's like every single card collector so what you have to do psa the uh the professional sports ass i don't know um you, they're they're the ones who grade cards uh sports cards pokemon cards magic cards Yu-Gi-Oh cards and uh you have to mail it to them I don't like that. I don't I don't like that one bit. Um you have to mail it to them and you have to you have to pay to get it graded, which again sucks. I'm like, "Man, I don't want to what um but it is cool to have graded cards. I wish I had some graded cards. I would never in my life buy a graded card i think that's stupid because a graded card and you could have like really really cheap graded cards you know 10 bucks you know but this is a single card that's all that's already in it, like in encased in this plastic it's, it's really cool when they grade it they put it in this permanent plastic little in this little sleeve that's like melted shut like so it's preserved perfectly for the rest of its life 
uh, and it has the grade at the very top. I would love to have some graded cards. I don't want anyone to ever buy me one because again, I would I I I enjoy Pokemon cards so much because I like opening them and like seeing what I'm going to get and the chance of it. It's gambling. I'm addicted to gambling. And uh buying a graded card it's like, "All right, here. There is no mystery. It's just, yep, it's it's right there. Here's the Pokemon. It, it's a Charmander, you know, cool." No, no, no. If, if I'm, 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 if I'm gonna have graded cards, it's gonna be the ones that I send in, which will make it even more special, you know, right? I have one, I have one card right now. Again, I have no graded cards. I have a card right now that's in a sleeve. Every rare card goes into a sleeve, and then into a hard sleeve. I have one card, ungraded, that's, right now it's at $120. Damn. I forget, I, I, I can't remember the, the last time I checked, but when you get it graded, because this app that I use to like price the cards and stuff and add to my collection... That's what shows you how much cards are. And you can also see how much it would be worth if it got graded. So I looked. It's a really cool. It's a Pikachu EX card. And uh, I. Uh, so you put like, okay, there's like three companies that grade cards. PSA is like, like uh, PSA is like the Nike, you know. So I, I plugged in. Okay. PSA. Gem Mint. Gem Mint is 10. That is like the, that is the greatest, like gem, There n- 9 is mint. Uh, that's where mint condition comes from. 9 is mint. Like it is, it is perfect. Gem Mint is like, it literally never touched air. Like it's never even seen air before it's never felt it's never been like so when i think with this specific pokemon with with this specific pikachu card i've had it for so long i remember pulling it i've had it for so long that i can't imagine it's in perfect condition but i would like to say confidently that i would get at most an eight hopefully an eight hopefully but if i could get that that's that's going to be worth a lot. I would not sell that one. Although, you know, I I wouldn't. Now, if I had a card, I think here's my rule. If I had a card that I knew if I graded it, it would cause like I could sell it for I would say if I could sell a graded card of mine for a thousand that's when I would start debating it. That's when I would start thinking about it. Anything under that, I wouldn't think about it. I'm not selling it. It is mine. You hit a thousand, that's when you can get me thinking. You get to like five thousand. Uh God forbid I got lucky and uh pulled a card, got it graded, and it was worth, you know, freaking fifty thousand. I could you know, pay off some of my parents' debt, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I've got a lot of those cards to go, th- to go through. Um, I also have a box. I'm looking at it right now. I've got this box. I've got this, 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 this box full of, full of random Pokemon cards that I was going to sell to the same autistic intern um, that, we used, that, that I used to play with. Um, and I was going to sell to him because he was really interested in not the collecting aspect like I am, but, he, but, 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 but building decks. So I had, had, have, I still freaking have them. I have this, this box. I have like so many cards in there. Just, just, ra- just random cheap cards. Um, the point of it was just, it's a bunch of random cheap, but, high variety amount of cards that he can build cool decks out of them. Uh, so I was talking to his mom 
and she was like, "Well, what are the, what 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 are what is the condition of the of the of the of the cards in?" And I'm like, "Dude, I play the game with your son. I've seen him bend a card on purpose. Do not t- do not ask me. Mm, yes, um, what's the condition of the cards? I saw. I've. L- I literally saw your son lick his dice. You and I both know that that doesn't matter, and they're in good condition. Damn it! I sent her a video and a photo. I'm like, dude, they're they're cards. It's a bunch of cards in a box. What do you want? F- Fifty bucks. Come on. She was like, what's, uh, what year were the cards made? What's the condition of the cards? Shut up. I'm like, dude, I'm, just, just let me make some money off your autistic son. Damn it. I wasn't trying to scam him. These are real cards. And I like the kid. It sucks that he left. But he did get a job somewhere else, which I'm really happy about. But now I have no one to play Pokemon with. Except for the Fridays. I'm excited for that. Um... We are at exactly an hour, so, or not yet. We got four more minutes, but hey, let me tell you a story about what happened last night. So much, dude, so much about this freaking open mic, man. Last night, it's a four-hour gig, 8 to 12. I get there at like set, at like 7.15, start setting everything up. 8 to 12. At around 11, 10.45-ish, a guy comes up to me. And he puts both of his hands on my shoulders. And he looks at me and he says, I need a song. I said, yeah. Uh, you want to, is it like a song recommendation? Like, I, I, I can play whatever you want just after this one's done. He's like, no, I need, I, I need this right now. I need a song. And I was, I, at this point, I was like, I thought he was trying to be funny. I was like, oh, I, I, need, I need a song. Uh, I'm a zombie. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what are we? So I'm like, yeah, dude, Um, uh, if you want to sign up and perform, here. I gave him the marker. I said, hey, man, you, you, you've, you've just got to sign up. I have, even if it's someone who can go on right now, I have them sign up because... I like to take a photo of the sign up list and then like send it to the boss of the Kava bar just to show him like, Hey, another, you know, successful night. This is how many people that we, that we had perform. Please keep hiring me. You know, he was like, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I, 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 I need this right now. I, I need this right now. So I was okay. Dude. I was like, what, what, whatever, dude. So I'm like, all right, what do you, what do you want to sing? He's like, what do you want me to sing? That's when I'm like, all right, something's, something's, something's going awry. I said, dude, I, I, and this is when I start, I start giving him some sass. I say, I say, dude, I don't, I don't know. He's like, no, no, tell me what, what do you want me to sing? His eyes are going in directions that a lazy eye would be embarrassed of. I mean, and I'm just like, dude, I don't, I said, I said, dude, I don't know what you want to sing. He said, okay, let me just sing this. And I forget what song, it was some st- stupid song. And it starts playing, and he, as the intro of the song's going, he's like talking on the mic like, hey, how's everybody doing? Yeah. What's up, everybody? what's your name again he's he's pointing at me i'm like uh, uh jacob he was like give it up for elvis yeah uh, I lo- this guy i love you guys so i love you so much i love you and then he sits down on the ground and he, he he starts singing singing is a singing's doing him justice he was just going uh yeah uh, 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 and uh, 
and I'm like, son of a bitch. Like, really? So we, we, we make it through that song. He gets on the floor, like, he, like, lays down stomach on the floor singing in the way of everybody, and I'm, I'm getting ready to just... Oh man, I was I, so he he keeps going. The song ends. I'm like, all right, cool. And he's like, can I do one more, please? I, and I'm like, oh, shit. I mean, everyone gets three songs, so. Uh, but I told him. I I said I said okay. I said you can do one more. You have to stay within the carpet though. Like you can't pass this carpet because pass this carpet is where the people walk to go. Check out to go to the bathroom. You got to stay on this carpet. He's like, I will, I will. I'm so sorry. I, I, I promise. I promise. I will. I will. I was like, okay, okay. Dude, that dude left the carpet so fast. He starts singing. And he jumps off the carpet. I'm like, son of a bitch. He keeps going. He keeps doing this shit. And he gets done. I cut him off. I'm like, uh, he's like, can I do one more? I said, nope. He's like, no, come on, come on, please. I need, I said, I said nope, nope. Nope, and I I I start playing a song. You know, like I, I go I go back to DJing. I turn it up really like really loud. He's like, please, dude, please, please, dude, I need this. I said, dude, and I said no. So he starts walking around, and oh my gosh, guys, I I've never in my life, twenty one years on this spinning spinning planet, have I ever felt this close to to beating the shit out of someone he was making girls so uncomfortable around us going up to them hey you 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 my you you remind me of my sister or so you're very pretty i'm i'm a pretty man i'm i'm a pretty you're i don't wear dresses I mean, I've, oh my gosh, guys, I, I was, I was so, I was so close. I was so close to just taking him out. And he went up to this couple who was playing pool, completely budged, like budged in on their game. He's officially banned forever, but just people like that. I just, it's, it's, it's just knowing that he went home without a black eye or without his blood on my hands. Which sounds so violent, but it's true. The fact that he left unhurt upsets me so much. He deserved... That is a rare case where that man... That man deserved to be escorted out by an ambulance. Like, the way he was making... The way he was talking to these girls and nothing makes me more furious not to sound like a freaking white knight or anything but there is something and it might be just a dude thing but there's something primal there's something guttural there's something primal in your chest it's this anger when you see a guy on purpose or not on purpose or not knowing when you see a guy making a woman uncomfortable and like the woman can't really do anything or is choosing not to, which is their prerogative. I'm not saying it's your fault. You should have done something. No, like a lot of, a lot, a lot of dudes wouldn't know what to do in that situation. But like the, the, the men that make those women uncomfortable, I, they are so lucky. I don't conceal and carry. And I've and I've and I've challenged myself. I've challenged myself to find like a, like something else that makes me that primordial anger, and I ha- and I just ha- and I just haven't. So, pretty crazy night last night. I was out till like three last night, man. The gig ended. Me and my buddy, my buddy, like the guy w- working behind the wire, we were just talking about it all. Like, yeah, he's banned. I got a photo of him so we can print it out and put it behind the bar so people know. Just talking about stuff, telling him about how uh, I am the most social person you'll ever meet who does nothing and loves his alone time. Um, but guys, I enjoyed this episode. Little, it was a little bit of a checkup. Mom. 
This isn't self therapy. This is just, baby, this is just talking. This is just talking. Um, I'm excited to see what we do with this new set. What time is it? It's currently 7.48. We're going to head over to the cafe, start getting this edited. Um, and uh, look, guys, I'm, uh, I am improving on my mental health. I'm getting better. I do not have suicidal thoughts as much as I used to. Uh, as per, you know, a month or two ago. So, on that illustrious note, on that absolutely el electric note, look, this is what you get when you come to the Something Cafe. You get the real shit. You hear me? You don't get none of that. You can get a Frappuccino if you want. It's a Something Cafe. We have everything. But you, you get, you, you get the, you get the, you get the black coffee when you, when you come here to the Something Cafe. All right? You get the black coffee. You get maybe some sugar. Maybe some, but you get the you you get the black coffee, the Colombian, the French roast. All right. So look, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for stopping by the Something Cafe. You can follow us on all socials. Uh links will be in the description. That's a big thing. Listen, it is it could not be easier. To find all of our other platforms, if it's Spotify, YouTube, Apple, Amazon, iHeart, um, Instagram, TikTok, it is all in the description of this episode. So check that out. Give, uh, get, get, uh, please consider giving us a follow on everything, especially Spotify. We're trying to get some sponsors coming. Um, and Spotify has a new feature where you can leave questions. Uh, I think that's pretty awesome. So there are no more, um, I don't know if you were familiar, but like before it was like, I could ask you guys a question and you could answer it and I could, and I could make a poll, but now it's just leave a comment and the poll still there. So leave some comments, ask me some stuff. Ask me about anything. Uh, make it as uncomfortable as you want. I, I want. I want to start doing some more out of, out of the box things here. So yeah, back to back to the outro, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for stopping by the Something Cafe. I've been your host, Celestino Dooley. I hope you enjoyed your coffee. <laughs>